Well, imagine a situation that you're sitting in a dinner party. You have a pretty good memory of some uh, situation that happened. And you actually remember it happening in a certain way. But all of your friends are telling you that you're actually wrong. They're saying that something else happened. Tally got the umbrella and she slid the sure was umbrella Tally? through the letterbox. No, no, no. I'm quite sure it wasn't me. No, it was definitely you. You definitely, mm -hmm. you were definitely holding the umbrella. Match. No, it was definitely Steve. I yeah, think I really thought it was Tally. Then. No, because we were really impressed that uh, Steve managed to hook it around. And remember, we had that big fanfare because we were out in the rain. When someone changes their memory so that it fits other people's opinion. Do we actually change a signal in the brain that is representative of the memory? Or is it just that we try to please other people? Social pressures can make us change the way we tell stories. But can they also make us change the stories we tell ourselves? Our actual memories? Tally and Micah set up an experiment to find out, not in a restaurant, but in a lab. They bring in a group of volunteers to watch a film together. Afterwards, the volunteers answer basic questions about the film to test what they remember. A few days later, the participants take the same questionnaire inside a brain scanner. Only this time, Micah and Tali apply a social pressure. This time they were exposed to fake answers that were supposedly given by their fellow group members. The group is led to believe that the others who took the test remembered the character in the film was not wearing a hat. And most people changed their answers to go along with the crowd. Almost 70% of the cases, the participants conformed and they gave a wrong answer, even though they were initially pretty confident about their correct answer. But were they just outwardly complying with the social norm? Or did their memories actually change? So we test them again a week after, once we've removed the social pressure. And we assume that if they're still making an error, that means that their memory was actually changed. Tali and Micah found that most test subjects stuck with the wrong answer even without peer pressure. The falsehood has taken root in their brains. It actually causes a long-lasting memory error. And using our brain data, we are able to actually identify when such a long-lasting memory error will occur. The brains of those people who changed their memories showed high activity, not just in the hippocampus, where memories are stored, but also in a part of the brain that is connected with emotional and social responses, the amygdala. 